1989's action classic Roadhouse is getting an update and it's tougher and it's grittier than ever. It stars Jake Gyllenhaal as an ex-UFC fighter who tries to stop a crime boss and the biker gang who works alongside him, including Mo, played by Arturo Castro. Take a look. You, tell me about this bouncer. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I don't know, man. He's, um, it's kind of strange, you know? What do you mean, strange? Yeah. I mean, you know, he's he acts all nice and like he's Mr. Rogers or something, but then, man, he hauls <laughs> off. He hauls off. He beats the living out of you. So, really interesting guy overall. That was a brilliant analysis. Sam, throw these dum dums overboard. And Arturo joins me now. Welcome, Arturo. Thank you so much for having me. Really interesting guy. I, yeah. yeah. No, so you play Mo. I love the character Mo because he's part of this biker gang, but right. he doesn't really fit into a gang. No, I thought it was a romantic comedy until I saw it. <laughs> Honestly, I was playing like that. Yeah. Yeah, he's got the softer side, which all the rest of the guys don't really have. He's just kind of lost, yeah. He's just kind of lost. So for those who haven't seen the original with Patrick Swayze, mm -hmm. kind of tell us, um, set the story up for us. This was starring Jake Gyllenhaal as Dalton. Yeah. Yes, it's basically about a bouncer that shows up into town where people are being rowdy and he cools it all down. You know, that's what the, both the stories are about. But this time we set it at the beach. That's why I look like I'm in Miami at the moment, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> which I always look like that, honestly, because I'm my tan. But uh, and it's just a bunch of action, laughter. It's an exciting movie. Yeah. And there's a, like a diehard fan base for the original. So that's always tough because you're like, ooh, we want to pay homage to the original, right. but kind of make it its own. Do you think they did a good job? Well, thankfully, we made it into a musical, so yeah, yeah. Uh, no, 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 yeah, of course, it's an homage. We took the best parts of it, but we're definitely making an original movie, which I think people from uh, fans of the old one will enjoy, but also yeah. the new fans, yeah. Yeah, I loved this movie, actually. You, yeah, it was a lot of fun to watch. Um, we saw a picture that you Instagrammed out of the cast on your arm. Obviously, it was part of your character, mm -hmm. but did, and watching those fight scenes and everything, I got to think somebody did get injured on this set. Like, was were well, there injuries? Yes, yes, my ego was bruised uh, when I was standing next to Jake Gyllenhaal yeah. because his abs look like they're painted in by the gods. No, uh, unfortunately, <laughs> nobody got hurt uh, while making this movie, but there was a lot of splashing around in the water, which is exciting yeah. to watch. Yeah, I saw you posted some things, too, about behind the scenes and just how what a great time such you guys had. Such a great time. Conor McGregor is such a lovely person, and honestly, we were, it, we were shooting in the Dominican Republic, so it was like going to the beach with your friends for, yeah. like, to shoot a movie for two months, you know. Yeah, and it almost feels like this was fate that you got this role because like, a mentor of yours was in the original. The original bad guy was Ben Gazzara. So yeah. Ben Gazzara, and he was the first one, uh, they gave me my first film role. So he taught oh. me how to act. He's passed away a long time ago, but yeah. I'd like to think that he got a kick out of uh, me being in the same movie that he was in. Yeah, for sure. Um, and we, you also posted on, on, on montage of all these things that Netflix put together. Some roles that you were in, Narcos, Yes Day, of course, Broad City. Yeah. You know, people love Broad City. Oh, my God. Being in Brooklyn when that show came out was really, uh, I think it captured the millennial spirit when it was. And now it's weird because <laughs> yeah. I run into fans of it, and, they're, and I'm like, they're almost 40. And I'm like, wait, am I almost 40? <laughs> and I was like, oh, no, we've all aged up. <laughs> Ooh, I know it happens. Yeah, it happens. It well. happens. But is there, have there been any conversations about kind of getting the game? back together doing maybe one episode or well you're in luck they're here today and we're doing it right now come on <laughs> yes. out Abby and it's, a musical. <laughs> and, yeah, it's a musical <laughs> no we haven't talked about it, talked about it yet but I would love to see them and work with them in the future for sure yeah um we've got another huge project coming up I do it's That's why my hair is dyed this way. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't normally, I'm not Irish. I'm not normally <laughs> rocking the redhead, you know? So it's for Tron. Yeah, uh-huh. What can you tell us about Tron? Well, the thing about Tron is a lot of Tron happens, and there's <laughs> Tron that happens, and uh, that's all I'm legally allowed to say. What? But it's that's a very nice. exciting movie, and Jared Leto is amazing in it, and Greta Lee is so cool, and the whole cast and crew, I think you're going to have a great time. Isn't it funny, though, like, you, you sign up for these movies, you have mm -hmm. to promote them, but you're not allowed to talk about them. So isn't that, it's like, how do you promote something? Thankfully, I've about. learned how to do it through interpretive dance. So yes, this, I'm waiting. This is what <laughs> Tron is going to be like and do that without, and a lot of this uh, light cycling, yeah. yeah. So do you improv in Tron as well? Yeah, honestly, they're letting me, they, I, you know, I'm very lucky that people let me improv some lines. I don't know how much it's going to make it into it, but it's honestly crazy walking into these sets and realizing that we play with our imaginary friends for I a know, living. I it's know. wonderful. I, like, you're so, Such a blessing, honestly. I was going to say, you got to almost just be so grateful that yes, you get to do course. this for, for a living. Um, and you can catch Roadhouse streaming on Prime Video tomorrow. Thank you so much. Thank for you so much for having me. Yeah.